Staying strong, moving forward. We are running into race number 16 at Bonebreaker Valley. And hopefully it will spare us a few bones, but I highly doubt that as we're now having to reach deep into our endurance bag. Let's see what we can do off the line. We go all kinds of squirrely. As we race down to the first corners where they split, we'll split off to the right underneath Bubba here. Oh, we're gonna pile drive Davey and we're gonna get hooked to the outside wall ourselves. And that's maybe a little bit of karma there for us just trying to bull our way through there. Excuse me as we gather it up. And now we'll take the jump off the ramp and we gotta watch out for cars coming straight at us. Doesn't look like we have to worry about that quite yet. Made up a couple spots there. Looks like some guys just didn't make the split at all. They just went right into the middle as we get the mother of all tire checks right there. And Corey LaJoy's gonna get spat out right into us from the other side. Can I make the ramp from here? Don't get stuck. Oh, I'm a rock climber over here. And then I get ass packed right over the side of the ramp. We're gonna keep it moving here. Another mini tire check. And that's a lap completed at Bonebreaker right there. Just how they drew it up. Let's see if we can get a little, oh, clipped a couple of tires there. A bunch of guys getting smashed, got them head on. Getting hit from all angles back there. Underneath the side, right in the mouth. You do not want to see that happen. Truly something you hate to see. When it happens to you, when it happens to your fellow competitor, it's just something that is to be adored as I'm getting sandwiched and slammed. And Ryan Priest gets spun around and flung through the air to Benedetto getting used as a punching bag. And we're on the final lap of this race in the top five, slinging it into the corner. What can we do? We got to catch Lee Petty up here. We got to catch one of the greats. Oh, and I'm slinging myself off the side here and I'm, I've crashed into a flagpole. That is the world's sturdiest flagpole. That thing should be put in a museum. That's all I know about that. We're going to pass some cars here. We got Bubba. I'm hanging that thing out. Come on, we got to sell out for the exit right here. Pass him on the outside. Oh, he's got more. Oh, we're going to be stuck right behind Trevor Bay. We just packed the life out of one of the youngest Daytona 500 winners ever. And that is just not something I wanted to add to my resume today. But there it is. And there we are across the line in sixth. That's somewhat of a shot, but not really. The sixth place finish, all things considered. That's actually a little bit hopeful and gives me some optimism as I just pack the pack into the first corner which is always an option always something we can choose to do now side by side with Davey and Jeremy Clow and we just split the middle bombed our way through the center had a couple ricochet off of our sides and we just tanked our way through kept rolling now we've got a battle up here in front of us Corey LaJoy going side by side with Bubba we've got cars coming head on at us and we're up and over we flip over the city Chevy. That was just a beautiful sight right there. We're right back into the game here. We're gonna make a pass for third into the corner, sling it through there, bounce off the wall. Tire check, I can get them all. And I did. I put some into the forest. I'm getting put on my lid by the competition and disposed of. Just smacked on the way by, but we're gonna, I think, be able to count it and just keep on going. We lost the spot, but oh well. So we can get through this cleanly. There's no way. There's absolutely no way in hell we were gonna get through there cleanly, and it's not ever gonna end. A couple big hits there. That was just a junkyard right in the center. A parking lot. Just an overall travesty on the eyes and a travesty to racing is taking place here. Look at the time we're gaining and we just take the lead right there unceremoniously and we just charge through the center. I thought I was gonna make it through there cleanly. We're not quite going through. Somebody knocked me back to center. We're gonna keep the lead and make off with it. Oh my God. Last jump of the race. Not another car in sight, but a massacre in front of us. Be on the landing, get back on your wheels, go. We're losing time to everybody. Come on, we're losing our, t we're losing the lead. We're gonna lose the race. Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick, you dirty dog. You bunch of bums. Got absolutely cheated right there and I will not settle for second place. That much is certain. That's the cleanest we've gotten into the first corner so far. Dale Jr. is just about to get wrecked by me. I am not trying to make an enemy of Junior Nation today. That is also not on the list. We might snag the lead right here too. Going into the corners, I'm gonna sail it in way too deep though and achieve another one of the world's largest tire checks. But we're gonna get back into fourth, it looks like. I don't know where Reddick went. I was gonna say, oh man, we're gonna get pummeled immediately. Cars were hanging back already. It's the first lap. 
How do you suck that bad already? The AI reaching new lows at all times. It is unbelievable. The Terminators have been infected. Maybe they do they have a virus? Oh my god, terrifying revelations are being made as we make our way through Bonebreaker. I don't I'm, I don't know what to trust anymore. Do I need to social distance with these freaking guys? Do I need to get Haley Deegan away from me right now? What do I gotta do? I'm scared. I'm terrified. Oh, and I've just launched Davy Allison into a series of flips that made Pocono blush. What in the world? Just get me across the line. It's the final lap. All bets are off. We're somehow near the top five, which is a miracle. And it's not, what the hell? We're near the lead. We're in second, just like that. And Todd Gillen right here is the leader. If I steal it from him right here, this is gonna be hilarious. We've split. He chose the other side. Reddick's gonna try and rob me again. Reddick, get off of me. Reddick. Actually, Tyler Reddick might actually public enemy. He might be public enemy number one. And Brian Vickers and Junior has snuck through. We've lost. We've lost again. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. The game wants nothing to do with me. It wants none of my act. It's had enough. It says no more. Wreckfest, I am picking up what you're putting down, though. That much is for certain. But Wall's getting picked up and put down, if you know what I mean. Oh, my goodness. That was a miss. I gotta hit the tires. It's like a law at this point. I have to check those tires. And we have absolutely made off with the lead. Will I blow it into the corner? You absolutely know I will. Will I get hooked by somebody back here? I probably deserve to. Apparently, I'm not in the lead. Jeremy Clements has learned to time travel and then immediately forgot and has now gone back to where he belongs. We are in the lead. Off the jump, will we die? Yes, we will, and so will Matt Kenseth. Catches it right in the tour and some more, and we get it too. Getting tossed around, spinning like a top. UFO in our way out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Then share it sideways across the track. And now we gotta try and hunt down Donnie Allison. It looks like he's right here. He's had problems on his own. Donnie, did you take yourself out of the race here on the last load? He's gonna crash right into a pile. And again, another vicious T-bone. My goodness, you couldn't get T-bones like this at a steakhouse. And now we're just lollygagging. We're just getting destroyed. Our race has been just turned into dust. It's but a dream. That guy was just, uh, he was trying to leave the park. That was kind of incredible. Dave Mar oh, now Buddy Baker in the lead. And it's, I tell you what, they are falling apart up here in front of us. Can I steal one? Please let me steal one. Back, they are, we are, oh, and I got tipped right at the end. It will not matter. It won't matter. We spin it across the line and steal a dub. I had to jump in the replay booth for this earlier incident where we absolutely lay the smack down on Matt Kenseth right in the door. And then catch a few of our own here. Somehow, though, this is all on the road to victory. And running right through to race number 17 now at the Rockfield rough spot. And we are in a rough spot as far as this gauntlet concerns. We have just been getting slaughtered out here. And this track is not going to change that. It is probably going to make it even worse. So yay us. We are off here at the Rockfield rough spot. And this is a track that I would like to tick off fairly quickly if we can, because I do remember how brutal it has been in the past. We're getting a nice little start to the outside here. Maybe it's cutting us a break nice and early. Massive tire check in front of us, and a couple of cars on that inside lane meeting in midair. The Denny Allen drives out of it and sails it up into the corner and into the wall, allowing us around him on the outside with the greatest of these. Little mini tire check there as we complete a lap and sail it into the corner here. We gotta hunt down Michael's self. We're all going to the outside. And not really on purpose. I just don't have the control we need in a car like this on dirt. Can't get enough speed over that jump to hit it flush on the landing. Oh, and I think Michael, <laughs> Michael just took himself out. Boom. I'm the lead now. I'll shut up. Oh, Trevor Bain right in my lane. Gonna get ass packed again today. And we are not able to turn. I am hitting the rock. Get all Dwayne Johnson's away. Oh my God, we are gonna lose this race. It's a drag race to the finish. We better have won. No! Oh my God, how close was that? 916 to 927. I'm never playing again. So I'm looking at this replay in post even. 
I don't know about this one, guys. Look at this. They explained to me how I'm wearing the L for this. It's that close. Look at it, even super slow-mo. I think that's a dub. I'm pissed. I just don't want to get stuck on these little bumps while I'm trying to make it to the outside or get hooked. Because they were really trying right there. Sorry about the tap, whoever that was. I'm too busy taking out every tire stack there ever was in William Byron. Doing to me what I do to tire stacks. And then trying to take me out again. Not once, but twice. I'm dealing with animals out here. Cold-blooded killers all around me on this racetrack. One of them was William Byron, Liberty Zone. Absolutely disgraceful. I got Brett Bodine up here giving him a push. So we complete a lap. Oh my god, chaos is breaking out here. We barely slipped through. Snuck behind Denny Hamlin right there. I don't know how we managed to stretch some luck out for that one. We get the outside lane on Joey here. It's going to be close. He's holding me to the outside, but we get through. Onto the podium we go. Get that run off the corner here. Come on, I need a better run than that. It's not going to be enough. Michael's self will outplace us. And once again, we're the runner-up. I will sacrifice Brandon Joe or myself. Apparently. Oh, I'm going to get myself dumped. There it is. Into a tire check. The world's biggest tire is in the background there, so I guess it's fitting. But that was uh, a bit disgraceful right there. That's just called getting what you deserve, actually. Oh, please don't block the track, Arena. We're going to get through. We live. Harvick going to get smashed out of the way. See ya. And we are going to... We have to mount a serious comeback from 18th on this track. Oh, they're taking themselves out. This is assisting. This is helpful. Oh, this is not. This is getting launched like a rocket ship in the reverse. I'll finish in reverse. It's never stopped me before. Why would it today as Casey Kane just gets massacred right in front of us? He got in the same spot we got Kenseth earlier. That is just tragic. Oh, come on. Can we hunt down a car this beat up for a spot on the last lap? If I can't pass this car, what, what do I even... What am I even doing out here? There we go. Thank you. Kurt Busch has won the race. We have officially lost. And we're taking a few souls with us, apparently, as Phil Barson just drives right by us. And we go into the wall with Liberty Zone, Bill Byron, and a couple of cars kind of pushing their way through here. And I'm just going to drive underneath Matt Craft, and this is an advanced passing technique only for the pros to attempt. And clearly I'm not a pro because this is going absolutely as abysmally as it possibly could. Am I going to have to finish this race in reverse? I actually am. What a scene. What a scene. And 15th is the best we could do. Brandon, if you leave the lane, I will take it up the middle here. Oh, and then I took it into the side of Trevor Bain, and I'm going to cause a pileup up here. That's just grand to the back we go. This race is done. That was pretty woeful. If we could not get our hopes and dreams smashed in the first corner, that'd be tremendous. If these guys would get out of my way as I pack it into Brent Bonine and just get sent face first into the guardrail as I probably deserve. But I'm not going to give up on two races in a row. We might as well keep going. Oh, Denny Hamlin setting himself up for a mega pack. And then I just planted in the concrete barrier. Oh, Trevor Bain throwing it all the way up into the wall. That is jumping the cushion if I've ever seen it. Now, can we all jump the actual jumps without incident? No, we cannot. It has led to a pile of it. I get stuffed into a concrete tire check. Maybe the stiffest tire check in history right there. That was definitely going to give me some... Oh, my God. Who just got annihilated right there? Somebody just got destroyed by the wall trying to sneak underneath us. And there you have it, Michael Self just finding the competition laughable today. And wins another one as we're going to go up and over. Nearly we get hit and saved and then hit and sent. And just massacred by Matt Crafton. And I think that will put an end to our race at last. Come on, I'll give you the push, Brandon. Get out of my way, though. Let's go. Making my lane up the middle again. Can I shove my way to the outside? No, Joey's going to put a half block wall, pack half of his ass and set him around. And Juan Pablo Montoya going to the outside as well. Put him in the wall. Oh man, Brandon getting sideways in front of me. We're just dumping everybody in front of me. We only know what the gas pedal does. That's the only pedal that matters to us in this house. And that's the one I'm going to use because we got to win this race. I'm going to just send it in here. Can we get to Matt? Kenseth, not quite. I will slam it into the wall though probably knock every ounce of speed that was in this car 
but not as much as Matt Kenseth just did. He flips. We're knocking over Kurt Busch. We got ridden by somebody like a damn pony. This is incredible developments being made here on the racetrack, and we're up to second right there after the double jump. Caught some people lacking. That was remarkable. Actual chance maybe at this race if we can hunt down Michael Self, who is now losing time to us. Hovering on a second, now dropping even more. He's right here, and there he goes in a massive pileup in the last quarter. We are gonna steal another dub. We are masters of thievery. It's incredible. I wanna see what it took for us to survive that opening lap because that was the hardest part of every race, getting through this double jump section alive. And that was what we were able to do there. And then we just kind of picked him off slowly until Michael Self destroyed himself. Well, here we are for race number 18 now, still moving right along at this time towards the Chalk Canyon which is a track we haven't been to in quite some time. I think we last touched this thing with the legends. And, uh, it's been a long time, but it was one of my favorite tracks and it's good to be back. So let's get right to it. Off we go and into the canyon. We will race here on the outside. That's kind of a brave decision, but we didn't have much one to make as we dumped JJ Yaley or assisted it. Him going around in front of the field and we are gonna make up some ground here on the bottom. I think it's a bunch of cars went up to the high side we got Bobby Isaac, and we're just going to take him out and then get taken out ourselves when Jerry Nadeau lands on us. I'm going to drive ourselves in front of the chute here, probably causing the huge one back there. I'm sorry, boys, but we got to go into the tunnel. These tunnels are kind of treacherous, and this is right here a great example as we get stuffed into the wall. And these walls are about as unforgiving as they get. They will rip wheels off, and especially cars coming at you at full speed not even remotely slowing down will do that and i think we have indeed actually lost the wheel of course we have our race is dead jump the hump again hopefully a 10 number two will treat us a little bit better on this outside we won't sacrifice jj yaley this time around a bunch more cars deciding to go upwards again as we're kind of three wide but not really jj yaley really putting life into his own hands once again and we're jumping underneath cars for the pass Getting landed on by everybody out here as some more cars come out of the chute and we come out into second. Ward Burton way misjudges the corner and then so do I. We just did it on polar opposite ends. He on entry, me on exit. Three wide over the jump. And Jerry Nadu made out like a bandit. That was tremendous. And Eric Jones even pumped me a little bit there. And then everybody just forgets how to drive and they all explode into the wall. And then I drive myself into the wall. Did I just ruin this car? I guarantee you I just ruined this car. I did, the wheel is gone, and I deserve this, honestly. I deserve whatever comes out of this tunnel and into my car, because that is just, that didn't need to happen right there. Just didn't need to happen. And none of this does either, but oh, it's gonna. It's gonna. Ah, uh, how sad. It's kind of easy to find yourself getting squeezed out here. This is way too far. Not where I want to go. How about we go up here for once? Let's try the up side. If somebody's barrel rolling on the bottom side, maybe it's a good thing I went up here. Might have got stuck in a blender down on the bottom. That is not what we want. We've had enough of that already. And this is what, race number three? I'm not even going to make the tunnel here if I'm not careful. And there is carnage inside. And I once again have just been plunged into the depths of the wall. And it's never going to end. S. <laughs> Reed Sorensen just blends us all up like a smoothie. Incredible. Oh, we're gonna touch up Ricky Rudd a little bit from the start. Or let him know we're thinking about him. Hey man, freezing. We'll try this high side again and we don't get stuffed into a brick wall. What the heck was that thing? Sorry, JJ, we're dumping you again, but I'm going too. Oh, we almost had it saved and then they pushed me off again and we just got impaled. Oh, I think part of the fence just went into my face and we are 100% stuck. No funny business on this start, though. Nobody playing any butt games. We're trying to sneak by the outside. We get bopped, and we're going over the fence this time. Cleared it. What do I mean cleared? But we got over it. We're on the wrong side, and I am not able to get back through. Damn it. Go into the tunnel of terror. We plunge ourselves, and so do many, many others. We live. We survived a tunnel venture. I cannot believe it. We might not survive this trip to the jump stall. Oh, was it? It just clipped me. You've killed me! Oh, I'm dead. 
Well, I, I just want to say I loved my family. I loved everybody. And that is the, the last that you've ever heard of me because I am out here where I'll never be found. Time for another spooky tunnel of death adventure. Jeff Burton decides to pop out and scare us all. Give us a nice fright. And now they're coming from behind to get us. There it is. Wouldn't be the first time, probably won't be the last, and now everybody wants to get out of here at once. Isn't that wonderful? Jeff, you could give me maybe at least six feet. I'd be just thrilled by it. And, of course, instead I get a brutal knuckle sandwich to the brain. I love it here. Can't believe this car is actually still going, though, let alone about to complete a lap, but not before we launch Ty Dillon into the Space Force. Get that man up there with Master Chief as we get a little bit of a launching of our own over the fence. What a demonic ass pack that we just received. That was otherworldly. We might need to call in the Space Force for that. We need all the artillery this nation can muster. And me, I think I gotta take a shortcut here. My goodness. Oh, no, I've botched this terribly. How did I just land in a tree? How did I find a tree in the desert to land in? I have a lot of questions and I'm about to fall out of this thing. I just wanted to make up some time and I'm gonna fracture everything in my body. This is not how I drew it up, but I think this race is officially dead. I think I left a little bit of my soul in this canyon. We just got absolutely decimated. I definitely left something up in this tree. That, that much is for sure. I know that for a fact. You know the quote about insanity is just doing the same thing over and over again. I really feel like that's the point that we've come to here in this game. And case in point, once again, is we just get stuffed on the outside. The outside isn't doing much for me or anybody else or anybody who's ever existed at this point. Maybe one day I'll earn that, maybe not, who knows. We'll try the, the, the shortcut of doom here. And I found another tree. It ripped my damn wheel off. This took with you son of a, you son of a. I just want to prove that it actually can be done here on the outside. That you don't have to die every single time. But maybe you do if these guys are all around you and they shove you wide. Maybe this is just a guaranteed result. At least we're not stuck. I appreciate that. We are about a billion seconds behind now, though. So we do need to kind of get it in here. Some other guys did get bad starts there. Looks like there's some wedged under this ramp here. That's. A bit unfortunate for them. It looks like we're gaining some time on the leaders here. Is there a pile up in the tunnel of terror? We'll have to see here. It looks like the tunnel is actually completely clean, so I don't know what to believe. Now I am very confused. We are going to make our way across the jump. Can we do it gracefully for once we do? Probably the most graceful one today for sure. It's late in the outside wall a little bit. Got a couple of cars going backwards, all kinds of torn up. And we're just letting J.J. Yaley be our snowplow here. He's just kind of leading the way through all the carnage and chaos and destruction. And we send it a little too deep there, but we got it. Oh, one more jump to remember about. Can't forget that one. We, oh, and J.J. just going to take it straight to the wall. The madman pleading his case for insanity. And while he should not be passed, we get around him. Now we're getting up on the humps. Jerry Nadu's lo losing parts and pieces, sliding into the corner, sliding into other cars. And we are sliding onto the podium and into second. Now we must hunt down Haley Deegan, who actually murdered us on this very jump earlier. She was indeed the one that launched us over the side and into the desert. So this is now a story of revenge that we're looking at here. So let's go ahead. Oh, she's gonna take herself out. And just like that, revenge has been swiftly taken away from me as she uh, just ends her own existence on her own accord. Just says, uh, go ahead and yeet and delete the lead right there. As we bring it to the final stretch here, wherever the line is, it's somewhere around here. There it is. We have collected our 18th dump and we planted it in the fence for the 18th time today. We're pulling up to race number 19 and now it's a battle of home turf here. We are in the backyard of Soundhead Entertainment, the home track of this organization, if you will. It's Michigan International Speedway. Let's get to it. Off we go. It will be fun to see how we can handle our home turf. It's Mark Twex Jr. figured out how he's going to handle it. He has gotten a hell of a run right from the start. Look at Truex. Truex is looking for that championship with that kind of start. He pushed Mike Lennon right down to the corner. We got some other guys pushing and shoving and getting tangled up in the wall. A bunch of them going to the wall there. We're going to sneak by underneath it. 
like it did not happen. Me and Montoya making off like a couple of bandits. And that is going to allow some separation behind us there. Look at the gap over a second between us and Boyer behind. And now we've got some room to breathe into the corner. Can we get a nice run? There's a couple of cars taken out here. A couple more cars taken out there. It's a little bit of a close call. And that's how you get into the top five here at your home track. Now the question is, can we steal a dub on our first attempt? That would just be the absolute dunk on all Wreckfest AI and everything they've ever done to me. That's the dunking point. And walking over their corpse laying on the ground. And I'm gonna be a corpse here if this doesn't end well. Oh my God, how am I alive? Miracles at Michigan right now. The miracle at Michigan is what that should be called. Oh, and my ass is getting packed into the corners. Don't need that. I have enough trouble getting through these on my own and Brendan gone. And Chase Cabre gonna, gonna pull away from me probably at this rate. So I'm running over spare wheels and different things. Final lap, 3.2 seconds, 3.3 seconds, 3.4 seconds behind the leader. And I don't know what I can do about it. I think I need an accident to happen. And it seems like the field has fully thinned out. We gained some time there, but they gained it back on exit. So we just might be a tad bit. S-O-L, it would seem. But I'm not giving up. I will not die. And I will happily take a podium as well, especially, oh, we got drama up here. Look at that, the leader's getting held up. Brendan Gaughan's getting held up, but not enough. It might be drama for second and first, but not for us. Brendan Gaughan holds on anyway. And we get ourselves a spin across the line and a pack into the wall. I don't think there's anything that actually gives me less confidence. Now, and not that there's any kind of trends in Wreckfest, but it seems like whenever we have a really good first run, but don't win, we're just doomed for death and destruction and just a real slaughtering on the other side of things. And I'm not happy about it. And I'm a little worried, not gonna lie. And I'm seeing some, some, a little bit of sparks and stuff getting dusted up behind us, but the mini map makes everything look like it's all right. So I think things are ship shape. We've got ourselves a little run down the back stretch into turn three. Greg Sachs getting muscled all the way by Michael Waldrop. And it's chaos as we're all diving into the corner. Everybody's bouncing off everybody, but we're making it stick on the outside and we're three wide to God. God, why are they able to carry so much more speed into the corner than me? That is atrocious. And so is this wall ride, but look at the speed I'm carrying through. Oh, that's the secret. I just learned something. We are gonna get our way to the front, whether it's through cheap crap or through dive bombing everybody like this. Just like that, Brendan. Thank you, case in point. And then Michael Waltrip goes torpedo mode on us coming into the corner as well. Coming out of the corner now, we've got a clicky wheel. We've been victimized. We've got all kinds of problems. I might victimize Regan Smith. Just take out my aggression on somebody. Get me in the second so I can have a shot at this lead. Oh, I dumped him and he's coming back. We're in the fence. Regan's getting space forced and we're gonna get clobbered. Oh my good God, did Regan ever get space forced? We sent that man to the moon and back. Oh my word and we've lost the wheel. Might as well have lost my life because we're dead. Well, we have to come to the replay booth for this one. I'm just gonna try to freehand it as you see Regan Smith get absolutely tossed up to the top of the fence where he dances around for a little bit. And we of course get clobbered by a couple of cars and cause some hits that are quite substantial. Got another more aerial view here. You see, we just hooked him and Around he went, and then we have quite a pirouette. Oh, it's a slippy, slidey start here. Oh my God, and Martin Truex with another God tier start. What is that guy doing, and how can I do it? That was incredible. Everybody's just passing. Apparently, I'm just blowing it out here. And it's not the first time. But we will carry on. Some other guys carrying themselves into the wall. Look at that guy right there. There are things developing in front of us. We have got to watch out down this back stretch. This could get hot going into turn three. Should I just send it underneath and see what happens? What other choice do we have? Really throw it in there. Oh, closing up on these guys quick. This is going to turn into a wreck here if we're not careful. We got a wreck on the outside. Twisted and turn it over and get nailed by the pack as they go by. That one guy is flipping all the way in the air. 
I think my only chance at victory at this point is just to lay that thing on the wall. Hope for the best and hope that I don't spin it out on my own. And it's still not enough. Look at the run that Kyle Busch just got on me. Good God. This is how you win 200 races in NASCAR. Right. Well, half of them have to be in the minor leagues. But this is how. I'll be impressed if we can hold on to the top 10. I don't know how many more. Oh, we actually might gain some spots right here. They're blowing it in front of us. And there's nowhere to go. We run into them. Oh, and now we're just going to get mowed down by the field. And boy, are we ever just getting liquidated. I mean, talk about decimated somebody hit the brakes please anybody i'm begging i'm begging just one person to find the brake pedal they'll never find it you want to know why because it doesn't exist it's just a myth i just want to count how many cars hit me after i've already been slain that's one two three so at least three non-existent brakes Oh, we got two of them going to the outside wall. We got to get low, get to the bottom. Don't want to be part of this pile when it becomes a pile. And there it goes. The pile is formed. And now we're racing with Kyle Busch. And he's left us in the dust a little bit. Let's look behind us. They've gathered it up. Truex is gaining on us. Somebody looked like they were flipping way in the background. Truex is going to get all the way underneath me and take a shot at my life. That was cheeky as all hell, but all right. I see how it is. Now I can't get out of the wall. Get out of the damn wall. Come on, I'm going to break the freaking thing. Oh, I had a clicky wheel and it stopped. Did I just lose a wheel? You have to be kidding me. This rat Truex is running underneath me again. And we just get cleared out by Norm Benning, and he is destroyed up there. We lost him. I might as well pull this thing back into traffic. Oh, they're wrecking themselves anyway. I don't even have to. I'm going to do it anyway. We are just a twisted hunk of metal. Me and Daniel Hamrick, and that's the end of Hamrick. It has to be. How I'm still walking is a mystery. How am I alive? Oh, here we go, three wide. This is the best start we've gotten today at the Michigan International Speedway. Can we make it stick on the bottom though? We got a little too sideways. We'll let off just a tad. Kyle Busch says, oh, he doesn't know how he feels about it, but we're all right, we're all alive. You know the rules, keep it low. Let them run themselves up the walls and everything else until Chase just slams on the brakes of the racing line. What are you doing, dude? Oh, are they going up to the wall again? They are, there are they in the wall? They might have hit the wall right there. I can't quite tell if they did or not, but this is the opportunity we've been waiting for. This is our moment. This is our run. Drag race to the line. There it is, white flag. I think we were barely ahead and we just now get the credit for it. On the bottom, we'll send it in. Hopefully he'll put it in the wall or something. Because if I can just nail these last corners, this last shift here, just got two more corners to navigate and we can win on the home turf, keeping it low. Oh, but not too low there. That was really low. If I throw this away, I'm going to be absolutely sick with myself. We bounce it off the wall. That'll probably give me some extra speed. We're still staying ahead. 0 0.7, 0 0.8. We're gaining on them. Get absolutely stuffed on Soundhead Turf. We score another dub for the books. Wow, about back-to-back NASCAR tracks. Won a massive Two and a half mile speedway. This one, a short banked oval. We are here at the Bristol Motor Speedway for what will surely be a beatdown of Tennessee size proportions. And we will hopefully come out of this with our 20th dub. So let's get right to it. Off we roll here at Bristol down to the apron here on AJ Allmendinger. Got a nice little start there. Oh, and he got packed. He got a nice little push from behind. Let's see, oh man, in a mess already in the first couple quarters. Cars going everywhere. We kind of drive through the middle of it though. Got smacked a little bit. Back down to the apron. Can we rejoin? No, we can't. Not without causing carnage. And going for a ride. And we're not the only one riding the wave of vehicles through the corners, down on the front stretch. And that's a lap at Bristol, everybody. Oh, look at this mess up here in the corner. We got one doing the twist. And Michael Self just taking himself out of this race possibly by taking a shot at me. Oh, Mark Donahue put himself in the wall and I followed him right into it. He's a lap down, so it won't matter. Matt Kenseth wins the race. We're coming to the final corners here. It's gonna be a drag race between me and Casey Kane to the line. He's gonna squeeze me into the wall.
Cane you! Oh, you garbage man. He tried to cane me, this guy. Down to the apron we go again. My goodness, Christian Eck is with another fabulous resistance. Whoever's behind me just destined to get a fantastic restart. Is that all there is to it? There's a lot to this wreck that's kind of unfolding here in front of us. And that's a lot of cars going into the fence right there. And we're going to power through Almendinger on the inside and rejoin the track. And it's another ugly rejoin. We're going to get pummeled again in the same fashion. In the same spot. No lessons have been learned whatsoever. Terry Labonte backwards on the racetrack. And more cars going to the fence. More cars climbing up each other. Bobby Labonte and Juan Pablo are just... Everybody's going for a wide. I'm getting torpedoed, tornadoed, twistered, everything in between. You name it. It's happened to me today. This is unbelievable. Man, we've got cars flipping on the apron. We've got cars probably flipping in the stands. We've got cars in the way of me getting out of the corner. And this is going to end up in me getting just run over by Carl Edwards, which I'm not the first guy that's had that happen. Brad Keselowski has entered the chat. Red Moffin has won the race. And we are going to have to limp this one home. Can we hang on to 15th? Can we steal one more spot? Somebody just died in the fence right in front of us. That looked like an IndyCar crash. Oh, and we get a big one right at the end, and I'm going to lose spots of anything. Come on. No, we're going to fall back to 15th. We fall into 16th. We did lose a spot. No, we were up spots, and we lost them all. Not such a good start here. We're getting out in front of Elmendinger. Now, where's my push from behind? How come I didn't get one, though, and I got a good start? What the hell is that? Never mind. I'll just go ahead and massacre a bunch of people in front of me. I don't know how many guys we just put in the wall right there. Felt like millions. There's a real slugfest developing here in front of us. Oh, we're going to have to duck and dive our way through this, aren't we? Watch the apron. Ken Schrader can't pick a lane. He might have to pick a seat up in row 15 if he doesn't get out of my way. And this is going to end well. They're going to come down. We're all going to go, aren't we? Yep, up into the wall. We Oh, and the oh, here comes the field. This is going to get bad. Here come the hits. One, two, massive clobberings. That just mow us down and wipe us out. Well, we have to check the replay on this one, don't we? Because this is a pile up and a half. We indeed get victimized. And I've never seen something quite literally spiral out of control quite like that. Sneak it down to the apron again here on the start. Send it down into turn one on the apron as well. I think I might to try to avoid this melee of animals on our outside here because you know they're just gonna take themselves out if we can avoid it. We'll try and we avoid it for now. There you go. We'll get back on track. A decent rejoin there for once. Got Mark Martin ahead of me. That's a little concerning. So is all of this in front of us. Oh, we just get tipped. I was just about to say we had a clean lap at Bristol, but it got ended right at the end. Stay on the high side now. Oh, boy. That is a real junkyard on the bottom. Not something that we want to be around any more than we have to be. Somebody's getting ramped underneath of here. Neil Bonnet getting driven underneath. And those Christian X's up there that laid it on him. And we're kind of getting up here towards the front. We got to kind of watch ourselves here as we sneak by what would have been a terrible crash to get caught up in and maintain the podium as we start the last lap here coming down the back stretch. Come on, can we steal it? Somebody crash. Christian Eckes says, my pleasure. Can I get by him for a second? We can, but Michael Self gets another win. Unbelievable the amount of wins he's gotten today. Got to get away from Almendinger. Stat here, take off. Get this man out of my life. He tips me into the corner. He said, not so fast, and look at these freaks. Look at the pile, look at the size of it. It comes down and gets us. That wreck was so huge, it came down to the apron and took me out. Definition of the humongous one right there. That is as big as they come, especially here at Bristol. And we're still in the top 10. So many people died in that thing. That was crazy. I don't like anything I'm seeing out of my windshield right here. This is a roadblock in the making. You could see it coming a mile away. Bums slung everywhere across the racetrack. And we somehow are still alive, but not from a lack of trying to be killed by boneheads like Brett Moffat, who send it into a three wide scenario, sometimes four wide. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe the state of Kyle Petty back there. He looked like he'd had a better day. The cars are just falling out of this thing. We're in the top five. Look at us. And 
there you have it. Neil Bonnet has captured the win. He has delivered us another big, fat, piping hot L directly to our mouth. But we'll sneak by a couple extra cars, and we will get into fourth place at, uh, at this hellhole known as Bristol. I just want to survive, you monsters. You absolute may I don't want to get run over a mind either, you absolute maniacs. Look at these buffoons. They will find any opportunity to take themselves out. Eh? They have never been shy about finding a way to ruin their own race. And somehow they've gotten me into third. What in God's name just happened? Why am I on the podium? Why is Matt Kenseth walling himself and letting me float by with the greatest of ease? This is maybe the greatest start we've ever had in anything in the history of life. And Brett Moffitt is out in front. Can we? Oh, somebody's gonna. Oh, no, Terrio, you. Terrio. Not what I need, bud. Not what I need. I need help. I need assistance. I don't need roadblocks. Missing all the cars in front of me and seeking me out. Man, I'm gonna use the bumper on you. I'm gonna Joey Logano your ass. There you go. Could have just let me by. That could have been way easier. Could have been so much easier. It's like Kansas all over again, isn't it, Matt? And now I've got Brett. I've got cars thrown across the racetrack again. Yes! That's what I needed. And in the final corner. Come on. I can wall ride it from here. Get out of the way. No. Yes. Yes. We did it. What a dramatic way to capture dub number 20. What do you even say to that, man? We have to take a trip to the booth. It is mandatory to see how we made up those last two spots. Dumped Matt Kenseth on one end of the track, then got to the other behind Brett Moffat. He creams a car laying in the middle of the road, and we captured dub number 20. We've only got five more races to go.